OK, we are continuing our football club history series and we're looking at the history of Walsall Football Club, otherwise known as the Saddlers because of the saddle making industry in that part of the black country. They currently play at the Bescott Stadium, which seats 11,300. They've been playing there since 1990 and they're founded way back in 1888. Now, their early years until the early 20s is a lot of ups and downs and a lot of instability in their league position and it's not because they're playing badly it's generally because of how the football league worked at the time where you had to apply every year to be readmitted into the football league so they found in 1888 as a merger of two clubs Walsall Town and Walsall Swifts hence why they were called Walsall Town Swifts early on before taking the name Walsall Football Club a year later, they joined the Football Alliance for the, th the three remaining seasons that that exists as a separate league before merging. The Football Alliance merged, obviously, with the Football League in 1892, and we've covered that in a previous video. And they joined the new second division. They never get out of the second division. They've never been higher than the second division. That is in 1892. Uh, within three years, they're voted out of the Football League in 1895. Their uh, membership is rejected. Uh, they've reapplied and they've had their membership withdrawn by the Football League. But they rejoined the following year in 1896. They stay in the Football League, never getting above the second division. Remember, this is crucial. Until 1901, where they um, again have their membership expunged. They don't meet the requirements to stay in the Football League at the time and they don't rejoin until after the First World War in 1921. So this is probably one of the reasons why Walsall never actually won any silverware is they, they were in and out of the Football League quite regularly from 1892. They, there were two spells where they were voted out but since 1921 they've always been a Football League side which is vitally important. Now their highest ever league position um, is sixth in the old division to after they're being readmitted the second the first time sorry in 1896 they achieved that in 1898-99 season since uh, their readmittance in 1921 the highest they've ever achieved in the football league is 14th in the old division two which was in the 1961-62 season so they've never been higher uh, than the the second tier which would now be the championship in, in modern terms. They've never been higher than the second level of English football. They've reached the FA Cup fifth round six times in their history, never getting past the fifth round, and they were a League Cup semi-finalist in the 83-84 season, so they got pretty close to a, a Cup final in the mid-80s there, but they've never never won any silverware, apart from obviously the Division 3 and Division 4 titles, but They've never actually won a major honour like the, the overall league title, an FA Cup or a League Cup, for example. Not even an FA Trophy. Not even won the FA Trophy. So they've won no silverware of note at all. Uh, their most appearances is held by Jimmy Walker with 534 appearances in all competitions over two spells uh, between the 93 and 04 seasons and the 2010-2013 seasons. So two spells over 20 years, 534 appearances. That record isn't going to get broken anytime soon by anyone at the club right now. Uh, league appearances, uh, Colin Harrison has that with 473. Uh, he did that between 1964 and 1982. So that's a pretty long, solid, solid career there. Again, I don't think that league appearance record gets broken anytime soon by any member of their current squad. Their top goal scorer all time is uh, Gilbert Alsop, uh, with 226 goals in all competitions between 1931 and 35, and then a second spell between 1938 and 1948. Uh, so two spells at the club got over 200 goals, in fact over 225 goals, 226 in total. The top league goal scorer of all time is Tony Richards. He has 185 in league alone between 1954 and 1963. And the most league goals in the season is actually again held by Gilbert Allsop. In two back-to-back -back seasons he scored 40 goals in back-to-back -back years in 33-34 and in the 34-35 season. Their biggest rivals are Wolves, West Bromwich Albion, Shrewsbury Town and Port Vale. Uh, with West Bromwich Albion, they play the Black Country Derby. And with Wolves, which is really interesting, their biggest rivals, they've only ever played each other 16 times in the League and Cup. Ever. As a fixture. Ever. Yeah, they're their biggest rivals geographically. Have only played each other 16 times in all competitions, which I find quite stunning. But if you look at the history of Wolves, they've been a very, very successful club. Whereas Wolves are plodding around in the lower divisions. Wolves were winning silverware. Uh, in the 50s and, and in the 80s and stuff. Uh, Wolves at the top of English football. Walsall generally at the lower levels of English football. West Bromwich Albion again, normally in the top two divisions of English football. Wolves 
third and fourth tier. Shrewsbury Town and Port Vale, however, are two clubs that they regularly meet um, are quite often in the league. Uh, I've done a history video on Port Vale. I've got to do one on Shrewsbury Town. Uh, so their, their rivalry is a bit more um, you know, uh, every day. Uh, they meet each other more regularly because of the leagues they're in and the, the heads-to-heads. Um, but I'm really surprised they've played only Wolves 16 times and, and West Bromwich Albion not much more than that. So that is a very brief history of Walsall Football Club. The Bescott Stadium, by the way, was opened by Sir Stanley Matthews. So there's that little, little tidbit there in 1990. Um, but yes, their early existence, bouncing from the Football Alliance to the Football League and then in and out of the Football League before permanently being in the Football League from 1921, and they've never been outside the Football League, is very, very interesting. I think that contributes to their lack of success, considering the, the history of the club going back as far back as 1888. Um... And that League Cup semi-final is the closest they've got to a major cup final or any silverware for that matter. Uh, they haven't even won the, the FA Trophy, which I find very surprising as a lot of other clubs in the lower divisions have at least won that once. Their lack of success is quite stunning. Much like Port Vale, they've won no major honours, uh, one of their major rivals. So there we go. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I will be doing a video on Shrewsbury Town at some point because that's not the first time they've come up in a club history video. And there we go. The other clubs I've done uh, videos on and um, for me thank you very much for watching and I'll have some more content for you very very soon